If you guys wouldn't mind, I think I'm gonna move this week's video to a place I might be a little bit more comfortable. That is better. So last week was really good. That donut and ice cream were to die for. If you didn't see that already, please go watch it. I'll leave it down in the description. But for this week, I had another decently good idea that I think might work to perfection. I have made homemade cereal multiple times now, and pretty much both times it has come out great. So I figured I would deploy that recipe and turn it into the most delicious pumpkin spice latte cereal I've ever had. So let's get right into this one. This week I grabbed some whole grain rolled oats, kosher salt and sugar, apple cider and baking soda, a couple of eggs, pumpkin pie spice, vanilla extract and pumpkin spice extract, as well as some white distilled vinegar. Now the goals of this recipe are obviously one, that it comes out great, but also that it's simple enough to where any of you guys can easily try it out at home. And we're gonna just start by toasting and grinding some of those oats, or you can bypass that step and just buy some toasted oat flour. Now this recipe is pretty much a spin-off of Claire's homemade Lucky Apparently we're at a drag racing strip. This recipe is pretty much a spin-off of Claire's homemade Lucky Charms recipe with some very important substitutions and alterations in there. I will leave this recipe written up down in the description. Perhaps most importantly is the apple cider to bind our oat cereal mixture together. Now you do have to set that mixture aside for at least 10 to 15 minutes to let all that flour hydrate, but in the meantime we have to whip up some egg whites anyways. Three egg whites are gonna be combined with some salt and granulated sugar until some stiff peaks form, and then whip in about a capful of that white vinegar to hopefully stabilize our mixture. If you watched the last few cereal videos, you'd know that I always have problems at this step. When I try to pipe out specific shapes or O's, the mixture is always too runny, or I don't work quick enough and the egg whites deflate. So to completely get rid of any chance of that happening, I'm just gonna make a toasted oat cake and then punch out the shapes that I want. I don't think I even mentioned, but the shape I'm going for with the oat cereal is little Starbucks latte cups, and then the marshmallows are gonna be assorted fall leaves, and hopefully some cute little pumpkins. I was kind of feeling indifferent about the cereal portion. It didn't look bad, but it wasn't really what I had in my head either, so I'm just gonna set them in the dehydrator on the lowest heat setting and let them go for a couple hours to dry out, and we'll see where we're at afterwards. The marshmallows come together in pretty much the same way the second half of the oat cereal does, with a bunch of egg whites, as well as a pinch of salt, some normal sugar, but this time some powdered sugar as well. I say this every time, but it's really true. When you think you've gotten to the end point, go another five minutes whipping these because the eggs can take it when they have that much sugar in there. And I almost always under whip these things, so do not be me. Once that was looking good, I divided it in three or four different colors. Getting red is almost always a pain in a white mixture, so you either need to use a ton of red food dye or mix it with a little bit of blue, maybe purple to darken it a bit. And the very last step here is to load up your piping bags and whip out your heart surgeon steady hands because it is not easy piping very specific shapes with this meringue. Unlike the cereal part, these can't really be molded or fixed after they cook, so just do the best you can to get the shapes that you want. Like I said, I was going for some pumpkins with a little green stem, and then just a few different colors and shapes of fall leaves that may or may not work. I don't know, I've never tried it before. These are gonna get baked on a silpat or parchment paper in a 200 degree oven for a couple minutes, just until they completely dry out and are snappy. And to even further dry them, we're gonna load up another tray in our dehydrator and set those at about 100 degrees for a couple hours too. You could definitely get away with not having a dehydrator, by the way. Just put your oven at the very lowest setting, maybe even leave the door open on a crack, and just let it go until all your pieces are nice and snappy, much like a store-bought cereal would be. Some of you might have been able to call this from a mile away, but there is most definitely a way to take this from good to potentially great. Everybody puts milk on their cereal. Pumpkin spice lattes are mostly milk. I see no problem with this.
Oh yes. It always amazes me how well the marshmallows hold up in liquid. I mean, you could leave them in here for 20 minutes and they would not get really mushy. The cereal part, on the other hand, not doing too great. It's probably because I didn't coat them halfway through the drying process with a little bit of that uh, like simple syrup solution that Claire does. I didn't think that had a physical property of like keeping them waterproof. I thought it was just for like flavor and appearance, but that might be what that does. I hope all you guys are enjoying your pumpkin spice season, because I sure am. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, slap me a like. I have no idea what day this video is gonna go up. I'm kinda all over the place, but who cares? We're having fun, we're eating delicious foods. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram if you do not already, and other than that, have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you right back here next time. Peace.